Okay, this is a short demonstration of what is called Newton's Cradle. I'm sure that you all have seen an example of Newton's Cradle somewhere along the way. Essentially, all that we have here is a series of one-dimensional elastic collisions between objects of equal mass. So ultimately, two things are conserved, conservation of energy and conservation of momentum. So for example, I give the first pendulum like so, a certain amount of gravitational potential energy, which transforms into kinetic energy as it swings through the bottom of the swing. And then you just have a series of one-dimensional elastic collisions between objects of equal mass. So then therefore, basically, the momentum of this first object is ultimately transferred to this object over here. This pendulum over here then rises to the initial height like so, because once again, the energy is conserved. So the simplest demonstration of this, of course, is just to draw up one pendulum like so, and then set it into motion. You'll notice, however, that the motion is, in fact, a little bit chaotic. It's not quite perfect here. And the reason for that, of course, is because energy is lost as heat with each collision that occurs. You can do some interesting combinations, however. Once again, with these combinations, keep in mind that all that you're seeing here is essentially a combination of the conservation of energy and conservation of momentum. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead, rather, and draw up two, like so, like this. I'm going to go ahead and draw up three like so, draw up four, like so. You can also do some interesting combinations by doing this, two and three, like so, and so on. So once again, all that you're really seeing here is just a combination of the conservation of energy and conservation of momentum.